So this is the All packaging right. you look for. Okay. Okay, so it's white cheddar and hot. Yeah, we just had Listerine strips before we. Why are you telling our secrets? We didn't want our. Why are you telling our secrets? <laughs> our uh, our guest. Was Thanks for joining us for C Players Now. We have some unbelievable student athletes to highlight on today's show. But first, I have to introduce you to the studio squad. We have Ray Merriweather here with us. Long time. <laughs> So when were you thinking about this? Like, um, and right how many drugs were you on? And this was going <laughs> your head. I mean, so you've said a little bit about the rap thing in country music, but then you have the spoken word. What's the rap? I mean, they're experiencing with me. If it wasn't for them, look at my dad right here. That's your dad? I'm standing up on the truck. Yeah, that's it. He's loving it. So if it wasn't for my mom and dad, I wouldn't be in St. Louis today. I love that. That's so heartfelt. And you hear all the fans yelling and cheering for you. Hey, Dad. Hi. Good. How are you? Good. So I just interviewed Joel. He said without you guys, you know, he wouldn't be here. What does this moment mean for mom and dad? Earlier you mentioned, you know, kind of being under that umbrella of country music. And you said you almost didn't record the dance because you thought it wasn't yes. country enough. So what is it like for you now when country radio is kind of gearing towards that pop country feel? Yeah, I think when you came out, you were the kind of guy who ran around the stage mm -hmm. and poured water on yourself and all the other guys kind of just stood there and played. So do you keep trying to up yourself as it goes along? No. Of course. All right. Did well, you like that? Because every choice like you make can affect the outcome yeah. of the rest of your well, life. And what you're doing now is yeah. who you are. Yeah, and it's going to set you up for what you're going to be. Oh, well, all right. Getting deep. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> all right, you guys, the month of April is coming to an end. But for our trivia, do you know what the word April is? Hey, Rays fans, Angela Sharp here at Tropicana Field. The boys are back in town after a seven-game road. There are plenty of great giveaways as homestand and even better baseball. We want to see you here at Tropicana Field. And don't forget, vote Rays. Just a couple years ago, five St. Louisans were drafted to the NHL. So that's pretty exciting for our city. And hopefully that'll continue to grow. And what I love to see is more little girls playing hockey. Angela Sharp standing by with one of the greats. I am so excited about this interview. Mr. Adam Oates is right here with me. You guys only really played together for, what, two and a half years. But for us Blues fans, it, it felt like forever. Was it weird when you left here and left Hall? And you've got a lot of great accomplishments. You've got over a 1,000 assists, which is really cool. Do you like kind of being that setup man? Yeah. Hi, Angela. Hey, Dana and Anthony. How you guys doing? You know, it's a beautiful day out here in Belleville. And they made it even prettier with all the art they brought for Art on the Square. So I'm pretty excited here. I Everybody is typing in with their Go Webster or Go Kirkwood. You know, Webster does lead this series. 53-45-5. There was eight games where they weren't played. And Webster has won five games in a row three times. Okay. So, uh, ready? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. How many cups of coffee do you drink per day? Zero. I don't like coffee. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are we not friends now? <laughs> I'm just so confused. I, yeah, I'm you, not a coffee You're person. one of those. Oh, that's okay. I'm going to try not to judge. <laughs> okay. okay. You're judging. I can no, see I'm it. not judging. I all right. Now, this means he's in charge of keeping all the animals that are going to be here healthy, happy, and most importantly, alive, right? I mentioned that there's a lot of requirements you have to stay within to try to keep the essence of the train station back from the 1800s. That's Another great matchup is the Nashville Predators versus the Jets. Now, they played game two last night and went into two overtimes before Nashville won. That series is now also tied 1-1, and they'll pick it back up tomorrow night. Snellzilla tossed for 11 and two-thirds innings, allowing only four hits, no earned runs, and striking out 19. Now we're back in town tonight, 4-7, and featuring a few new faces. Jake Bowers and Diego Castillo recently called up from AAA Durham.